do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Welcome. Tonight I'm going to read some of my favorite quotations from Aleister Crowley. I've chosen to read these in a non-random order. Instead, I've constructed a narrative of my own, telling a story of my own through the words I have selected from Crowley. With that, I will get started with the preface of saying, of course, I'm not going to, as I go through my narrative, cite every one of these quotes. However, in the comments, you will see citations to each and every quote. In conformity with the practice which you may perhaps choose to adopt later, given in Lieber Thisharb, you must find an answer to the question, how did I come to be in this place at this time engaged in this particular work? One would go mad if one took the Bible seriously, but to take it seriously, one must be already mad. Nevertheless, have the greatest self-respect, and to that end, sin not against thyself. The sin which is unpardonable is knowingly and willfully to reject truth, to fear knowledge, lest that knowledge pander not to thy prejudices. I slept with faith and found a corpse in my arms on awakening. I drank and danced all night with doubt and found her a virgin in the morning. But the conscience of the world is so guilty that it always assumes that people who investigate heresies must be heretics, just as if a doctor who studies leprosy must be a leper. Indeed, it is only recently that science has been allowed to study anything without reproach. It is necessary in this world to be made of harder stuff than one's environment. I thought perhaps I might do some good, but it's ten to one if I ever should, and I doubt I would save if I could such empty-headed Athenians. I never approved the super subtlety of Huxley's campaign against Gladstone, and as for Swinburne, he died outright when he became respectable. Adaption to one's environment makes for a sort of survival. But after all, the supreme victory is only won by those who prove themselves of so much harder stuff than the rest that no power on earth is able to destroy them. The people who have really made history are the martyrs. I am more at home with the wind and the stars than with empty-headed Athenians. I've written this to keep from crying, but I am crying, only the tears won't come. Love is the law, love under will.